So this year I was the uh, reviewer for Pro Evolution Soccer 2011 on both official PlayStation Magazine and uh, First Play. I ended up becoming very quickly very obsessed with the Become a Legend mode. For those of you who don't know the Become a Legend mode, what you do is uh, create your own young uh, potential hotshot superstar uh, and then lead them to both club and international glory. It's like an, an entire kind of spanning career. You can jump between clubs, get an agent, end up playing for the national side, all that sort of stuff. So being a huge Arsenal fan, what I did was create a Brazilian wunderkind who's at the Arsenal at the moment called uh, Wellington Silva, an attacking midfielder, stroke, support strike. Being a bit OCD, I was pretty fastidious about how I created young Wellington de Silva. What I did was I went onto an Arsenal blog site called Young Guns, found some of the kind of quite rare pictures of him, painstakingly created his face in the, uh, the edit mode, and also looked him up on Wikipedia. So I got his height right, got just like everything, even his weight kind of roughly sort of spot on because that's the sort of idiot I am. And I thought I'll, I'll, I'll poot around a bit, and then I'm sure I'll get signed by Wenger because I'll be so good. Heartbreakingly, it did not turn out that way. First off, the, the clubs which came in for me, there was a bunch of kind of European no marks. The only Premiership side or fake Premiership, this being Pez, that came in for me was Stoke. As an Arsenal fan, I have a slightly contentious relationship with Stoke. The idea of being managed by Tony Pulis, potentially headbutted by him nude, did not strike me as like hugely alluring. Nonetheless, I wanted to play in the Premiership, so up I shifted to the Potteries. Come on, Legend Mode is weird because it's the first at least half a dozen potentially more games all you do is play in training matches you won't get picked for the first team squad and you have to go out on the pitch and kind of impress by not giving the ball away creating assists scoring goals uh, and generally getting a good match rating but you'll, you'll spend huge chunks watching other people play the game and I'd, i would go off and make cups of tea and like read the internet while this was occurring and my girlfriend thought i'd gone mad basically because i was not even playing this game just looking at it but finally you break through into the first team and you start you know making the odd goal laying the odd one on for your strike partner and those of any football game i've ever played those are the most satisfying goals you ever do because most of the time you're just dashing around the pitch trying to get involved in the action constantly calling for the ball like you press r2 twice to to call for a pass which in fact you, you'll barely even find because it's pez in its classic esoteric way it doesn't even explain that to you you have to delve way into these labyrinthine menus to find it but basically i became quite established as a stoke player i, I sort of forced ricardo fuller out of the team since i wasn't too pleased either because I, I was kind of taking his spot too and i drove them up unbelievably into the european qualification positions and we finished we finished i think fifth or sixth and i'd scored five or six goals and laid a load on so immediately i wanted another move to get a move you need to you need to get a new agent and i didn't have enough uh, money to sign a new one up so i couldn't still couldn't pick the Arsenal as a club to come in for me. So come the transfer window, again, the only Premiership side that came for me was Birmingham. Again, not as an Arsenal fan, not a club I have a huge affection for, but I thought, McLeish isn't a bad guy. They play probably a slightly better brand of football. I'll, I'll tip up at Birmingham. So off I go. Didn't have to spend quite as much time on the bench this time because you've, your stats have been built up because you can train yourself in the meantime and kind of improve in different areas, learn skill cards. So I forced my way into the first team quite quickly and rapidly uh, formed an incredible strike partnership and I don't, no, I did not over exaggerate uh, with a Serbian enormo tree man Nikola Zigic. By the end of the season with Birmingham I'd scored I think 18 goals and laid on 19 making me the uh, assist leader in the Premiership that, that year. I'd signed a new agent, I told him get yourself down to London Colney, have a word with Arsene, I want to go to the Gunners uh, and sure enough the Arsenal started sending scouts out. One of the things that's really interesting about the Become a Legend mode though is that uh, well, it makes me understand why these young players act the way they do because when I started out my career as young Wellington I was really eager to please, the manager would give you instructions before the game and I kind of went out there puppyish, just desperately trying to do what he wanted but by the time my career at Birmingham came to a close I was marauding all over the pitch ignoring the manager's instructions. If he ever took me off and we were winning and I was playing well and then the team lost I'd be mentally working out what I would have said to the press about how the manager had made a dreadful mistake. Um, I'd be constantly changing my coloured boots, um, just generally acting like a complete hoon and uh, probably I felt sorry for my little digital agent having to manage me. But so anyway, the Arsenal started scouting me and I was thinking like a move must materialise, my stats were pretty high by now. I actually had begun to break into the Brazilian national team and eventually displaced Ronaldinho. But come the end of the season, no offer from Arsenal, even though they were still sending scouts. I, I kind of kept playing game after game, I won the American Cup with Brazil as a top scorer. Not a word from Mr Wenger. So by the end of that transfer window, the only club uh, from the Premiership that would come in for me was Manchester City. And I thought, well, plenty of money, good players. I guess it'll be interesting to, to, to rock up there and play. So I signed on and it, sure enough, did get an enormous basket of cash, only to find that the only player left in the squad that I'd even heard of was Paddy Vieira, who is now presumably 60 years old. And I thought, oh, it's kind of like playing for the Arsenal. 
The weird thing with Become a Legend is at first it feels very alien controlling one player, but as someone who does play football in real life, it's much closer to the way you think on an actual football pitch because you're, as an attacking player, like looking to just, just play off the shoulder of the last defender. You see space on the pitch and you naturally just kind of flit into it and then call for the ball and then drop out of it. You, you really do sort of play it like an individual plays real football. I think it's actually quite a good education. Footballistically, as Bengal would say.